Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a dollar store vase into a luxurious crystal lamp that will dazzle and shimmer. And if you would like to make one yourself, I will list out all the materials. You can also visit my blog site at creativity.com for all the details, including tips and tricks, as well as links to where you may purchase the materials. To begin, I will show you the materials I use to make the lamp. We will need one glass vase to act as the body of the lamp. The one I have can be found at Dollar Tree or Dollarama. You will also need a lampshade. The one I have was bought on clearance at the Hobby Lobby for $2. We will also need a couple of glass candlesticks, also available year-round at the Dollar Tree. For a light source, I will be using a push-button light I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Similar ones can be found at Dollarama as well. The push light will also require three AAA batteries, also available at the dollar store. To bling out the lamp, we will need several strands of hanging crystals. The ones I have purchased were purchased on eBay, but you can find similar ones on Amazon as well. Here, I show you a sneak preview of how I will use the hanging crystals. To further decorate the lamp, you will need some crystal gem stickers. The one I have is from the Dollar Tree, but similar sheets are also available at Dollarama. In addition, I will be adding some crystal gem clusters I made from Dollar Tree plastic silver spoons, left over from a previous project. If you would like to sh know how I made the crystal gem clusters, watch my crystal cluster silver mirror video. I'll leave the link below. We will also need a small plate which will act as a base to hold the glass vase. The one I have was found lying around in my stash of miscellaneous arts and crafts materials. If you don't already have one, you can purchase one at your local dollar store or even at a discount general store such as Goodwill. You will also need some glitter sprinkles. Mine was purchased at the Dollar Tree, but you can find a variety of silver glitter sprinkles at Hobby Lobby as well as on Amazon. In addition, you will need some silver metallic paint. Once again, mine is from Dollar Tree, but you will be able to find similar paint at Dollarama, Hobby Lobby, and Michaels. To build out your lamp, you will need some E6000 for permanent hold. E6000 can be purchased at Walmart, Michaels, or your local hardware store. You will also need a glue gun and glue sticks commonly available at Walmart or Hobby Lobby. We will also need some Mod Podge, which I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Now to begin the build process. First, I will line the top rim of the vase opening with a row of gem stickers. Not only will this bling out the vase, but will also hide the scratches you see on my vase, which I repurposed from a previous project. Then I proceed to paint my small plate with silver metallic paint. This step is optional and depends on your color preference. Make sure if you will paint the plate that you apply enough coats to cover the original color of your plate. For next steps, we will begin to build out the height of the lamp by gluing down one of the glass candlestick holders base to the bottom of the glass vase. For this process, you will want to use your E6000 to ensure a permanent hold. For immediate hold, also add a dollop of glue gun glue in a few areas as well. Then apply glue to the mouth of the second glass candlestick holder and attach it to the mouth of the first candlestick holder. Once this is completed, you will want to set the vase with the candlestick holders aside for 12 to 24 hours for the glue to fully cure.
While we wait for the glue to cure, we can start working on the lampshade. First, I remove the plastic wrapped around the lampshade. Then, I measure out the desired length of the strings of crystal. You will see that each crystal is connected by a jump ring, so it is very easy to adjust the length according to the size of your lampshade and your personal preference. Once I have enough strings of crystal, I will apply them to the lampshade in a vertical hanging fashion. In order to do that, I decide to use my soldering tool, which I purchased from eBay, to poke small holes a half centimeter apart from each other all along the top rim of the lampshade. This will allow me to insert a jump ring to the top rim of the lampshade and hang the strings of crystals securely. Depending on the size of your lampshade and how many strings of crystal you will need to insert, this process may take some time, so grab a cup of coffee and put some tunes on while you work through this build process. Next step is to take the small plate painted earlier and apply a mix of Mod Podge containing silver glitter sprinkles. This will add an extra shine effect to the lamp base.
Once the plate dries, I realize that I want to add more height to my lamp, so I decide to add some legs to the bottom of the plate by gluing down three crystal doorknobs. Now I turn my attention back to the glass vase with the candlestick holders and apply a row of crystal gem stickers around the perimeter of where the candlestick holder meets the glass vase. Then, I proceed to apply glue to the rim of the glass vase and attach it to the small silver plate, making sure that I center the vase properly while gluing it down firmly. Next, to further embellish the base of the lamp, I glue down the crystal clusters all around the empty space on the silver plate. These crystal clusters were left over from a previous project. If you would like to know how I made these crystal clusters, watch my crystal encrusted silver mirror video. I will link the video down below. The final step is to insert the battery-operated push-button light into the top of the lamp, laying it down on top of the upside-down candlestick holder. Then I place a lampshade over top to complete the glass vase lamp. Well, Creative Gems, our glass vase crystal lamp is now complete. I really had fun making this lamp. I have decided to place this lamp on my vanity of my guest washroom. Thank you for watching me create my glass vase lamp. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other Creative Gems. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload another DIY glam project. I hope to see you all soon.